People stuck in Afghanistan continue to fear for their safety. Norel Wahab is an Edmontonian who went back to Afghanistan six months ago to process his family's citizenship. Now he's trapped there, fearing for their safety. Actually, it is the face of uh, Kabul is now different. I spoke to Wahab Friday morning by phone. He says he's staying with family in Kabul after being released from hospital following a car accident, explaining the streets are dangerous. And they, they are uh, going on the road and uh, they are uh, not watching for the people. They had an accident, a lot of them. Kids, uh, actually, woman, woman, I, I saw a woman in a hospital. They lost and uh, kids, uh, uh, other people also. Wahab tells me the citizen application process for his family was moving along, but as the Taliban took control of the region, it came to a stop, making things worse. Wahab says he has no access to money, ATMs or wire transfers, and without a passport, his family cannot get into the airport. There's so many people out of the door of uh, airport, they are waiting to, to get in. There's a lot of fear amongst Afghans, especially amongst women and children. Wahab says as uncertainty looms, the city's institutions wonder what will happen next. And they're wondering uh, if they work in a hospital, who gonna pay them? If they work in a, uh, if they are a teacher, who gonna pay them? At home in Edmonton, the local community also fear for their loved ones. A rally is planned at the legislature next Saturday, the 28th, to show support and call for action to help those in the country. Organizer Tassila Atai tells me her family left Afghanistan 20 years ago, and she feels a duty to help those back home. I was about three years old. I'm around 24 now. So around 20 years ago is when. Uh, my family was able to flee and we were one of the lucky, lucky ones, like I mentioned. I still have family back home that um, that still live there. Saying her family are desperate for help. You know, my cousin reaches out to me. He just had a baby with his wife and he's my age. And to imagine to have a baby in a situation like this where you want the best life for your children the same way my parents wanted the best life for me, um, they're at a standstill. They're messaging me, uh, you know, a 24-year-old in Canada to ask for help of how they can get to Canada and it's frustrating to not be able to do anything. But for Wahab, who's also still trapped and trying to leave, he says he doesn't recognize his home country anymore. The, the Kabul face is already the change. It is different, different face, different people, different guns. In Edmonton, Darcy Ropchan, City News.